Hello everyone, Dr. Hasbullah here and if you are interested in doing engine research for your final year project, here are a few options that you have. In general, over the past few decades, engine research are mostly focusing on sustainability instead of pure power. This is because at the moment, transport alone is responsible for 21% of CO2 emission on the planet second only to the power generation industry. And within the transport sector itself, road transport are responsible for 75% of the CO2 emission worldwide. And you would know that there is a specific type of engine that most road vehicles are using, which is the internal combustion engine. Therefore, if you'd like to conduct research on the power unit that is the internal combustion engine, Firstly, you have the option to research on the improvement of the power unit itself. For instance, an internal combustion engine are currently able to convert only about 30% of the fuel burned into useful energy to propel a vehicle. It would be nice if someone could figure out how to improve this number. And one of the key enablers towards enhancing this number is downsizing. This means that you are reducing the size of combustion chamber while maintaining the power output. This can be achieved through a device called a turbocharger. So you could run a simulation on the turbocharger and potentially find ways to improve its efficiency. Some other ways are through the implementation of cylinder deactivation during idling where one or two cylinder would be deactivated either during idling or when not too much power is needed. This is also one of the key research area in automotive engines. You could also take a look at each individual components and optimizing it to achieve higher conversion rate. As the internal combustion engines are approaching its maximum theoretical conversion efficiency, researchers are also looking at hybridization of the engine or even full electric vehicle conversion. Granted, hybrid and full EV are already available on the street, but there are a lot more potential to be explored and unlocked. For example, you could do some research on batteries, either as an individual cells or as a system. If you are looking at each of the cells, then you might have to dig deeper into the chemistry of how the battery works. However, if you are looking at a system level, then you can study perhaps the thermal management of the battery throughout the life cycle of an EV. You could potentially look at the programming itself and perhaps modify the brain of an EV through simulation to perhaps improve the way it delivers power to the vehicle. Now with IR 4.0, machine learning and big data approach, it is only a matter of time before we see a completely autonomous vehicle on the road. There are of course many researches to be conducted in those areas. Now apart from the conventional internal combustion engine and vehicle electrification, there are longer term research on sustainability such as hydrogen fuel vehicle. The worldwide implementation of this technology is still far from reality which makes it a viable research topic. If you are into chemistry perhaps you'd want to look at hydrogen and fuel cell electric vehicle. Now talking about alternative power unit for a vehicle, what if instead of using petrol or diesel to power the ICE, we could use an alternative fuel, a biodiesel perhaps, or perhaps a completely synthetic fuel that is able to provide comparable power to weight ratio to existing fuel and have the advantage to be converted into useful work without harming the environment. Wouldn't it be amazing? Now, remember that just because you are looking into engine research does not mean you focus only on the specific part of the vehicle. Since we are looking at sustainable transportation, perhaps you are interested in designing better roads, for example, or perhaps vehicle that talks to each other to minimize accidents and traffic jams. You could also take a look at autonomous vehicle, wireless charging network for cars, better rules and legislation, or whatever you can think of as long as it is contributing towards a more energy efficient transportation, feel free to explore. These are just some of the ideas at the top of my head and do some reading about the topic and discuss with your potential supervisor. This is Dr. Hasbullah and I wish you best of luck in your FYP. Assalamualaikum.